like to speak, uh, you know, on the uh, the courage. Um, just was made aware of uh, just the, you know, Sam Pieces, uh, Pieces, who's a you know obviously a tremendous player for uh, New Hampshire. Just playing with a real heavy heart today. Uh, just keep him and his family in uh, in your prayers. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, or at the end of the last week. Uh, um, his, uh, his his house burned down back in France. So, uh, you know, prayers to him and his family. And uh, I thought incredible, courageous performance by that young man tonight. Uh, you know, playing with that uh, so heavily on his mind. Obviously, a really good player. Um, you know, the game. Obviously, listen, we're, we're uh, you know the the standard is high here. Um, you know that that was clearly um, you know a below standard uh, you know performance. You know, for us, um, in a number of ways, you know, in particular on ball defense. Um, you know, offensively, I thought we were, um, you know, we were just scatterbrained, especially in the first half. I just think, uh, um, you know, it, it was typical of an early season, I guess, performance. You know, I watched, uh, you know, our early season game versus them last year. And that wasn't exactly a clean performance uh, when we saw him last year, seven games in. So, um, you know, it's going to take some time for this group to gel. I thought there were some good things, you know, but for the most part, it was a, a frustrating, um, you know, it was a frustrating game. Um. I mean, we were doing such bizarre stuff in the first half. I mean, it was such a um, a discrepancy for the the kind of the level of play that we've established. So, um, you know, I think some of it is is um, you know some tactical things that we have to change that I've got to change in terms of some things I think that we're trying to do offensively, um, or, or things that we've got to scrap. And then we've got to head in a, in a different direction in terms of the tactics that happens early in the year. Things you think are going to be a good fit for your personnel, um, you start to see that maybe that's that those aren't good things. So I think we, we, um, I've got to put these guys in better position. Um, but uh, you know, I just thought the you know second half, um, you know, some guys looked like UConn. UConn players, you know, but making shots and making plays and getting steals and throwing lobs and thought um, just look more like ourselves in the second half. I thought we tried hard. I just think we played bad. Yeah, I mean, he settled in first half. He was a little jittery, um, you know, missing Gamble opening night. Um, but you saw the flurry. I mean, that type of flurry, size, you know, drives, threes. You know, he's a guy that I think is going to be, you know, just he's going to get a lot better. I, I think guys like Solo and him, uh, in particular Liam, you know, some of these guys are just going to have to eat some, 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 uh, some growing pains with them. But I, I think the upside of, of, of that those three players right now is a it's what's going to give this team a, a high ceiling as the season progresses so we've got to invest in in Jaden Ross uh, th that's what a, a, a big wing Yukon guard from a athleticism talent standpoint that's what it's supposed to look like his second half that's what it's supposed to look like He's got to stop doing it. I know, I know you're exasperated with the question. I mean, it's it's dumbfounding. I, I I just don't know how he put him, why he keeps putting himself in these situations. I think he's such a great guy, and he wants to do well so badly that he's, um, you know, he's pressing and he's fighting for every inch, and he's playing with a level of desperation that's admirable. But in playing with that level of desperation, he's mauling people. Um, now, some of them, I'm not sure they were fouls, like, which is a whole other thing that we can get into here, uh, which I'm not sure that I, I, I necessarily want to um, and get that ball rolling this early in the year. But, um, you know, I don't know. You know, what a back-to-back -back defending, uh, you know, going for a, a third straight national championship. I don't know. I think some of the 
you know, when people wall up at the rim, um, uh, you know, I don't know that that was a foul. His third foul, I thought he did a beautiful job of walling up at the rim. Um, all right, so four of his five fouls, he mauled people. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's handling these games the way that he needs to handle, you know, handle these games. Um, you know, he's, you know, and he's doing a lot of his own offense on his own, which I think is a good thing. I think, um, you know, because we're, you know, the we're struggling a little bit. I think, you know, with, with the guard play right now, so um, no one's getting him anything easy. So he's, but he's, he's generating it on his own, which I think is is an evolution and the next step for him. But yeah, I mean, he's like, you know, he's blocking, he's stealing, he's assisting, he's on the offensive glass, he's scoring 17 points on eight shots. I mean, that's what you should do in a game like this. You shouldn't have to volume score in in games like this. I just think he's a little, um, you know, Jalen just, you know, he, he he's young. I mean, I, think, I still think he's like 18 or just turned 19. Or uh, I hope I don't find out later he's 20. <laughs> you know, but I, he's young. I mean, he's just, um, he's going to get there. I mean, we need him to get there. I mean, the the upside of this team is is obviously, you know, it's 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 these wing, it's these wings, it's it's these it's these. It's Jay Ross, it's Solo Ball, it's Alex Caraban, it's Liam McNeely, it's getting Jay Stu where those guys are. Um, you know, it's seeing if Isaiah could push to get in the mix there. I mean, the, the wings, I think, in the end is, is going to be the strength of the teams. And we, we've got to get him to the level that that, that kind of Solo and, and, and Jaden Ross are at right now. He's got the talent. What have you thought about Terrace and the way that he's able to kind of obviously get two quick calls again? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, the standards are high here. I said to those guys in the locker room, you won by 39 points. But the, real, the reality of that, that reality of the situation is that that game was, was, it was below brand for us for a considerable amount of time. I mean, that is not, I, I noticed too, just a, um, yeah, the, the, I think there was just a lot of just the level of basketball that everyone that has watched UConn play for 25 minutes and that 25 game minutes I think there was like I don't want to say a surprise within the, with the crowd or a surprise and just in terms of us not playing as well as people are used to watching us play and um, you know I think Taris uh, he had a, he had a great opener uh, I, I think he and I think um, the human nature uh, human nature started to creep in with him today um, he he did not stick to the identity that he established. So he he had a really good opening night, and then a lot of people told Harris like, "Hey, great job." He got a lot of text messages. I'm sure he he got some dopamine on social media, and then he resorted back to some things that um, um, some looseness uh, on a post feed. He doesn't meet the pass, and they steal it. You know, he did not grab high point rebounds with two hands. Uh, um, you know, just he, we, we got to, he's got to continue to change and, uh, and, and he can't, um, he's got to continue to change. But I, 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 Taris was fine tonight, I guess. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, you got to do, you got to do smart scheduling, you know, you got to do, uh, I'm not talking about anyone in particular either. I'm just saying like, you gotta, you gotta do smart scheduling. Um, you know, overall as a league, we, we do gotta, we gotta avoid, um, you know, trying to lose games that are going to kind of hurt the, you know, hurt the numbers if possible, but. I mean, it's it's uh, you know playing Fordham at, at at home game two or three or whatever it is, uh, it's like not an easy game to play. And you know, I think uh, every league will 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 deal with it. Um, I just think we got to win. You know, the league's got to we got to get we got to win the big non-conference games versus the other big leagues to you know 
to uh, to get more bids. You know, you you can't. Yeah, you know, we, we got we all got to perform well in a non-conference if we want more bids. Yeah, I mean, I, I was torn at halftime because it was like some some bad on-ball defense, uh, you know, early on where, like, you know, Woody Yard kind of drove us right to the front of the rim and scored on, uh, you know, I think I think Liam a couple times. And, and uh, yeah, that just kind of got the ball rolling down the hill. And then we got a bunch of great threes that we missed. And... You know, you just keep coming into media timeouts, and you know what we've we've always just kind of completely dominated people, and and uh, it was uh, it was foreign tor territory for us, where like you know you're you're at the eight me eight minute media timeout, and you're up five or seven in this game, and I think we're all like, you know, I think then we wanted to make a twenty five point shot so that we can get back to where we normally are in these games. I, was like, I think we tried to do the right thing. Uh, we, we, we obviously we foul. We, you know, we had some undisciplined fouls. We, we had some bad on-ball defense for the most part. But I mean, listen, they shot 30% at halftime, and you know, a pretty good three-point shooting team. You know, we we took away the attempts. You know, we we held them to 35. I just think we were bad offensively in the first half, and and you know, we probably should have scored 110 points, and you know, that was frustrating. Yeah, I mean, he needs to. I mean, we need it because somebody's got, I mean, like Liam Solo, um, Samson's fouling a lot. I mean, you know, he, he uh, you know, we got some young guys that are, that are going to get better defensively, and right now they're not good defensive players. So these games early in the year are important um, to learn lessons and to, you know, develop and get better. Um, but yeah, I mean, Alex is playing the way a Big East player of the year is supposed to be playing. You know, he's uh, and uh, from a statistical standpoint, efficiency standpoint, but he's also really leading too. I mean, he's been like super vocal and um, doing everything we want him to do right now. Thank you.